a very good evening it's a truly honor and privilege today to welcome the architect of vibrant progressive the new india that is emerging our honorable prime minister shri narendra modi to the 90th agm of federation of indian chamber of commerce and industry on behalf of the executive council the members and staff of fiki i would like to thank our honorable prime minister for being here amidst us to mark this occasion i would also like to extend a very warm welcome to the dignitaries on the dais my fellow executive council members distinguished guests assembled here excellencies my friends from the media and my family it's a pleasure to have you all here this special occasion prime minister sir we take this opportunity to loud government's bold and path breaking reform agenda which has been signal out for special mention and praise from different quarters the indian economy indian industry indian society and institutions like world bank imf as well as rating agencies like moody and smp have all recognized the giant leap that our country has taken over the past 3 years in a significant achievement we jump up 30 notches into the top 100 ranking in the world bank's ease of doing business this jump is the highest by any country and is crucial for future growth and development of our nation it's a positive affirmation that all round multi sectoral reform agenda of the government is yielding results now close on the hill of this the credit rating agency moody uh, praised the government's effort to broaden the tax base and tackle the non performing loans and said this reform provide stability and enhance india's high growth potential the agency also praised the demonetization policy for helping reducing corruption increase the size of the formal economy and improve the tax collection this is a recognition of india's macro economic reforms year 2017 has been a historic one with gst finally coming into force not just this the step taken to help the business ad adjust the new system the user feedback system helping resolve bottlenecks relaxing deadlines for filing returns cut in tax rates are all indicative of government's commitment to involve all stakeholder in its development agenda sabka saath sabka vikas is not just a slogan but is actually being practiced here sir earlier this year you had given clarion call of india first indeed this is a passion and spirit with which we need to work it speaks volumes about commitment that the government has shown for forth for furthering the growth and development of the nation fiki stands united in this goal for nation's progress there has been several milestone over the past 3 years that have been uh, there in the indian economy and placed up uh, us on the firm path of progress i am not going to enumerate all but you can uh, see that in the speech written speech i have given you but few things is worth noting here is that the, there is a fiscal deficit target which has been taken up very seriously there is a ranking improvement in ease of doing business we are among the top 100 and moving forward fdi has been historically high the government is sensitive to issue and uh, of the problems and quickly acting on it and so on and so forth use of digital technology in governance is another very important factor which is ultimately going to make a huge difference going forward the way gst has been for, foreseen and the kind of technology platform it has been used would go a long way so it's becoming a real uh, next generation reform for the government the government using garv and swachh bharat dashboards fixing accountability with pragati and reaching out and broadening the public interaction with my government are some of the further digital uh, uh, decision taken by the government the banking sector reforms and also the reforms with uh, uh, the bad loans have been also worth appraising the youth of india have a new spring 
in their step with the initiative of Startup India, Stand Up India. With this reform, we expect growth to cross 7% soon, but need of the hour is to grow to 9-10% to over the next 30 years. This is imperative if we have to bring people out of the poverty line in our nation. To go from 7 to 9% growth, we need booming export growth of 25% per year. Some of the countries have done that, but I believe we in, in India can do even better. FIKI has submitted an analysis of export development to the Ministry of Commerce earlier for developing our export, and I am sure action are being taken to help uh, grow further. The future is ours. It's, there is optimism in the air. Recently, the index of uh, consumer expectation in November 17 showed a historical upswing, coinciding with the positive change in the direction of GVA growth figure of the second quarter. The voice is very clear, unambiguous, and free of confusion. The vision is bright, and we all understand that. All of us share our enthusiasm as we undertake further much-needed long-overdue reform of 3L, land, labor, and legal. You know, in, sir, in your Independence Day address, you had said, there is a new India shaping up, and this needs a new approach. From chalta hai attitude to badal sakta hai mindset. We are committed to this and stand by you to give the shape to a more competitive India. Prime Minister Sir, India is ready. Lead us to the US dollar 20 trillion inclusive global economy. Sir, the world is growing through major upheaval. The recent amendment in the US tax laws are seeing a shift from global economy to an internal looking economy with focus on territorial taxation regime. This is likely to result in a kind of imbalance in the world trade and will create changes in the way the international business takes place today. The new tax regime proposes by the US government of a maximum tax rate of 20% and simultaneously, any remittances made, even for normal transactions like trade, will attract an excise duty tax of 15 to 20 percent as per House or Senate version. I believe Brexit, UK is moving towards different kind of tax regime, and we are sim seeing similar thing in our neighboring country, Singapore, as well. Globally, the nations are moving towards a low tax regime and focus on more on internal economy. Sir, India, under your able leadership, has been globalizing rapidly. These steps are major, major, these steps by the major economies like US and UK can be disruptive for the global economic scenario. Sir, we look forward for your guidance and intervention in developing a new path for India amid such disruptive changes and emerge victoriously as we have always been. Fiki would be happy to partner and collaborate with the government to brainstorm and arrive at appropriate solution for our nation. Today, India needs to speak in one voice together. This unified approach will bring collective strength and encouragement to take reforms further deeper. I assure you, sir, that the industry can be trusted as a partners of development. This dialogue has to be higher level of understanding and engagement to overcome our national growth deficit quickly not only for us, but also for the next generation of the teeming millions of our country. On FICI's part, we are de-resigning our organization and the way we will work with our principal stakeholder vis-a-vis -vis industry members, as well as other agencies, including government, state administration, civic society, academicians and institutions, social experts, startups, and technology pioneers. We are focusing on creating a member-driven organization and would like to bring greater accountability to ensure that the organization continues uh, to remain relevant. We need to focus on brilliance and eminence in our leadership approach to create accelerated development and growth. Sir, I'm happy to report to you that we all, are, all have agreed in a special meeting create, for creating a new division for development of nation. This would greatly help us, the government, step forward proactively, re reciprocate the trust 
to the industry. This will, need, this will bring us to the new vision. Sir, you have shared the vision of year 2022 to our country and have called for building a new India. Fiki wholeheartedly support your vision of a new India which would be built on four pillars. Development for all, an India free of hunger, illiteracy, communalism and fear of terrorism, an India in which individual enterprise can blossom and an India that is leading the power of the among the nations. At FIKI, we have dedicated ourselves to these goals and our various programs aimed at promoting development, supporting new enterprise, enhancing national security and making India business globally competitive. We are proud to inform you, sir, that this year FIKI have built productive partnership between FIKI and the Ministry of Human Resource Development, Urban Development, Renewable Energy, Environment, Skill Development, Science and Technology and Sports. We are collaborating with ISRO, ICMR and DRDO to facilitate commercial development of Indian technology. Recently, FIKI and ISA have decided to form a global task force under the FIKI's chairmanship for coordinating solar innovation. FIKI's particip FIKI has participated actively in Global Enterprises Summit just concluded in Hyderabad and over 120 women enterprise entrepreneurs from FIKI participated in that summit. Mahatma Gandhiji, the original architecture of FIKI, had once said industry should regard themselves as trustee of poor. In, the, in its 19th year, 90th year, FIKI has rededicated itself to his ideals and has launched a new initiative to promote Dalit enterprise. As a new India, as in new India emerges, creating a plethora of opportunity for growth and development, FIKI will continue to lead the way as a voice of policy change. We will continue with our mission to support rapid, inclusive and sustainable growth that encompasses health, education, livelihood, governance and skill development. On behalf of all us present here, I would like to request our Honorable Prime Minister Narendra Modi ji to accept, he has already accepted the memento which depicts the vision, the initiative and the action on the so and the social change which is, he has envisioned. Sir, the stalwart who unified India, Sri Sardar Patel had once said, faith is no avail in absence of strength. Faith and strength both are essential to accomplish any great work. In this mission to create new India, Fiki assures you of both faith and strength. Thank you very much.